Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Scott Herman from scotthermanfitness.com and Sears Fit Studio. This is your first of the month strength training routine. Now, it's a new month, it's a new time to get your body to a new shape. And that shape is better shape. So we're going to do five exercises. Now you're going to need some equipment for this routine. We're going to use some hexagon dumbbells. So I have a pair right here. Okay? And we're also going to use, if you don't have a pull-up bar at your house, I have a pull-up bar right here, but if you don't have a stable structure to do pull-ups, you can get an iron gym which fits in any doorway. So you can do this routine at home too. So I'll have links for all this stuff in the info section below, which is linked to the Sears website so you guys can pick that stuff up. So let's get started with this routine. We're doing five exercises and we're going to be doing three to four circuits of 10 to 12 reps with a 30 to 60 second break in between each um, exercise, okay? And we're doing this as a circuit, so make sure you go from one to five before you start over. Reason being is because the last exercise is a plank, and you're gonna hold that for as long as you can. There's no reps for a plank because you're basically standing in one spot. So the first thing you're gonna do is gonna be a dumbbell squat. And the way I want you guys to do this exercise, and if you wanna be barefoot too, you can be barefoot. I'm doing it barefoot. You're gonna stand with your feet a little wider than shoulder length apart. You're going to hold your dumbbells up like this. And you're going to do a regular squat. Keep your core nice and tight. Come back. Breathe in. Don't let your, let your knees pass your toes. Push through your heels. Breathe out. Come back up. Down. Up. And you're going to do 10 to 12 reps. And you want to go as heavy as you can with the dumbbells. Just like this. The next exercise you're going to do is going to be a dumbbell deadlift. Now the way you do this exercise, you use the same dumbbells if you want, is you're going to put your feet in about the same position, about shoulder length apart. You're going to stand just like this. You're going to keep your chest up like you do in a squat. You're going to keep your back arched like you do in a squat. But you're going to hold the dumbbells out in front of you like this. And you're going to come down, reach forward. Now you see how my hands are going past my knees? It's like if there were a bar here, the bar would be in front of my knees. So the dumbbells are going to stay in front of my knees as I come down. I'm going to come down as far as I can like I would on a squat. Keep my core tight. Breathe out on the way up. Show you guys from the front. Come down, chest up. Breathe out. Just like this. Core is tight. Gripping the dumbbells tight. So I do a dumbbell deadlift. 10 to 12 reps. Now, the next thing you're going to do, like I said, if you don't have a pull-up bar, get yourself an iron gym is you're going to do pull-ups. Now, when you do your pull-ups, you can do it a couple different ways based upon how strong you are. Now, everybody can do a lot of pull-ups. If you have to, jump up, do one pull-up, let go. If you're a beginner, you only can do a couple pull-ups at a time. Take a little rest, jump back up, pull yourself back up, okay? You can do them consecutively, obviously. Jump up, breathe out the way up. Make sure you go all the way down, just like this. So you can do consecutive reps, 10 to 12. And if you need to make it a little easier, you can do actual a chin up. And a chin up is having your palms facing you. So jump up and go this way. And that's a little easier than a pull up. And then last but not least, if you're using an iron gym, uh, a doorway is only so high, you can use your toes and kind of push yourself up and kind of jump and do a really slow negative. As soon as you finish the pull ups, you're going to do push-ups. Everyone who's going to do a push-up, 10 to 12 reps. Get down on the ground. Now make sure you do a push-up, your hands are wide enough so when you come down, you get a 90 degree angle in your elbow. Just like this. Body straight as a plank. Come down, up, breathe out. Keep that core nice and tight. Down, up, down, up. Breathe out the way up. Now. If you're a beginner and you can't do a push-up like that, a couple of different ways you can do it. You can go on your knees like this and bring them in really tight and just kind of rock forward like that. And if you need to make it harder than that, if you want to go kind of in the middle between a regular and an easy one, and just put your knees back more. And then you'll put more of your body weight over your arms. So 10 to 12 reps. And the last thing you're going to do is a plank. All you have to do for a plank is go like this, 
You put your hands like this so you can keep them out to the sides. Get your body straight. Keep your core nice and tight. Maintain a neutral spine. Flex your abs as hard as you can. And then simply hold this position for as long as you can. Only one more recommendation I would make. If you want to keep track of how long you hold the plank for, and it's a great way to kind of challenge yourself, let's get a little stopwatch and put it right in front of your face. You can see the time. So, you're going to do this whole circuit all from start to finish, and then go through it again three to four times. So, that's your strength training routine for the first of the month. I'm Scott Herman from scotthermanfitness.com and CSFit Studio. I'll see you guys later.